Discover the future of tech with Simon Ross, creator that work for Tet, Technonomy, and Fortune. Generative AI, it's the shortest distance between what's in her brain and getting it out into the world. People should be paying attention, obviously, to AI, but maybe not for the reasons everyone thinks. In a time where everyone is obsessed by AI, and I was able to bring a lot of the female AI rock star. Was I happy doing what I was doing? Estás entrando en Ridela, universo de las tecnoperras globales, mujeres que rompen barreras y cambian el mundo. Y ahora, a ladrar. Woof, woof. Oh, it's a driver for productivity and progress, whether it's social or economic. So what it allows us to do. Okay, so basically you are like a sociologist uh, and a curious person uh, looking to solve problems mm -hmm. uh, around society. I'm definitely curious. I'm not looking to solve problems, but a lot of the people that I find interesting and a lot of the work I find interesting, they are. So I'm not solving any problems, but I am helping. I'm looking for people who are using tech to do lots of different kinds of things, including solving problems. You are helping people to get to know what others are doing, and that means um, you are inspiring people to be better. So in a way, for me, that's also to solve problems. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not sure I buy that, but okay. What have you done in the last year that you are really proud of? The TED conference, um, the big TED conference happens every year in April in Vancouver. Um, this year, um, so I'm just one of many curators. So, I, and again, I, my focus is in tech. So um, I think in a time where everyone is obsessed by AI um, for lots of good reasons and lots of bad reasons. Um, I was very happy about the diversity and breadth of speakers that we were able to and I was able to bring to the stage for this particular moment in time. So um, a lot of the female AI rock stars, a lot of people who um, you know, should be heard, but maybe aren't known yet. Um, and obviously we had a lot of the big names as well, but there were, I think there was a decent balance. So that's not easy to do. What do you think is quite relevant right now for people to know about that? I think people should be paying attention, obviously, to AI, but maybe not for the reasons everyone thinks. Like it is going to be obviously transformative, it's going to have a lot of impact, but I think there is a lot of fear and mis unnecessary fear and misunderstanding around it. Um, and as, as one of the speakers said, there's like, we shouldn't be intimidated by it. So yes, there are lots of things we need to be very deliberate about and think about, um, but I think society in general, other than maybe people in tech, feel like they have no agency, they have no say, and they feel intimidated to ask about it because it's complicated. Um, so I think people need to not fear asking questions about it. Yeah, that's the problem, no? Right now, uh, it seems that the fear is the way to control yeah. people and... And there's lots of, ex I mean, it's two sides of the same coin, right? Tech is really exciting. It allows us to do amazing, amazing things but we have to be very deliberate about it and we have to, you know, ask questions and, you know, sometimes that doesn't always happen. One thing that you have discovered this year that has changed your life in a way. What has changed my life in a way? Hmm. Not much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I will say that, um, I mean, I'm very interested in how tech is and AI is being used in art. So I've, I've come across an artist that I'm totally obsessed by that I also invited to, to speak called Nice Aunties. Um, and um, I think the quality of what she does just shows how much, how hard AI art is to do well. And it's just incredible stuff. So it's, it's storytelling, it's world building, it's amazing and it would not be possible without generative AI. She, she described it really well. She said something along the lines of that generative AI 
it's the shortest distance between what's in her brain and getting it out to the world. And I thought that was really cool. So I, I, I like, um, I think that people should be allowed to be excited by technology. What would you ask to the future you? What would I ask the future me? Yeah. Was I happy doing what I was doing? Amazing. <risa> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, I hope you enjoy. I did. I did. <risa> Las entrevistas que estás viendo forman parte de un especial que hemos grabado para Sonar Plus D. Si quieres conocer a más tecnoperras globales que están cambiando el mundo, suscríbete, dale a la campanita, déjanos un comentario. Y oye, tenemos Patreon. Uh. Si no queréis que mis gatitos se mueran de hambre, pues ya sabéis. Din, din. En realidad no tengo gatitos, pero sabemos que diría. Ah. Y yo como mucho.